Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the most merciful. I know we have a lot of umbrellas up, but I want you to recognize that as the rain falls, our supplications are answered. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, O oh Allah, give victory to our oppressed brothers and sisters. Oh Allah, every word that we have set out here is a complaint from our hearts about the oppression and the cruelty to our brothers and sisters. Oh Allah, give them victory. Amen. Oh Allah, comfort their grieving ones. Amen. Oh Allah, have mercy on their martyred ones. Amen. Oh Allah, give them strength and courage and perseverance. Amen. Some of us are here and have family in Palestine. And while we were Zoom calling with them, we could hear the bombs falling in the background. We're not worried about the rain out here. We could hear the airstrikes in the background and the worst part about it was that it was normal. That eight-year-olds have to walk the streets in Gaza and it's normal to hear bombs in the background. That our families that walk the streets in Jerusalem hear bullets outside and hear people screaming and they don't even flinch. And it's normal to them. We reject that normalcy. Dear brothers and sisters, so many of us come from a people that were expelled from those lands. My father, everyone's been talking about their parents up here. My father was born five years before Israel was born. He was born in Palestine free. My mother grew up in Jerusalem. And even though it was occupied, she was free because she refused to be occupied in spirit. And she was a poet and she said these words that stick with me and I want you to remember these words. She said, أَنَا مِنْ أَرْضِ فَلَسْطِينَ نَبَأْتُ وَفِي كُلِّ الْأَرْضِ زُرِعْتُ وَلِكَلِمَةِ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرْ سَجَدْتُ I am rooted in every, I am rooted in Palestine. But we have spread throughout the earth and we bow our heads to the greatness of only one. When you have people that in the name of a false birthright, in the name of ethno supremacy from Long Island, New York, that can walk into a house in Jerusalem or Sheikh Jarrah and say, if I don't steal it, someone else will steal it. That's a shame on every single person who tries to whitewash that crime. Every single person who refuses to utter the word apartheid. Every single person who refuses to utter the word genocide. Every single person who refuses to utter the word occupation. If you can't say occupation, you are not an ally in our liberation. Take your sanitized nonsense and keep it away from us. But dear brothers and sisters, look at this. Stare at it. These are human beings. These children are not less than my children. These children are not less than your children. There are 547 children in 2014 that never made the cover of a New York Times. That never made the cover of a Haaretz. They matter too. There are thousands of children that were wounded and disabled and that are traumatized for life. We're here for them. And how dare, how dare those fools raise their voice and say that this is wrong. They fear our humanity. Because if people start to see Palestinians as human beings, maybe, just maybe, their conscience will wake up. Maybe the war crimes will bear on their conscience. Maybe they'll start to make connections with our militarized police departments being trained by an occupying military and putting the same knees on necks here that are put on the necks on our brothers and sisters in Al-Aqsa. They might make the connection. They might make the connection, and if they make the connection, then young people of conscience, of all faiths and backgrounds that are here, will stand up and reject that false narrative, reject the rhetoric of both sides, embrace the full struggle, no matter who stands against them. They're afraid of the humanization of Palestinians, because if you humanize them, then you can't disregard them anymore. Dear brothers and sisters, we know who the fascists are. We know the people that make no secret about their contempt for the Palestinian people. 
But it's those people that issue those all lives matter type statements. It's those hypocritical, bankrupt, democratic politicians that had nothing to say for weeks before Gaza, for weeks before the rockets flew, and have had nothing to say since the so-called ceasefire. And they might just bury the Palestinian cause in some empty message of concern in the middle of their statement and say that we hope for a two-state solution, one in which settlement expansion has increased by threefold, all while they throw those empty platitudes towards us, and then tell us that our movements for justice are not okay. Tell us how we can protest. Tell us how we can resist. How dare you use the language of peace to suffocate the work of justice? That is not your right. And we will not wait for you to develop moral courage. We will stand up. I want to end with one thing. For too long, they've remained faceless. For too long, they've remained nameless. We can never allow them to make us voiceless. Your voice matters. Your prayer matters. Your protest matters. Your courage matters. And the more of us that come together and say enough is enough, and now is the time, the stronger we will be. And no one will be free until Palestine is free. May Allah free it in our lifetimes and allow us to pray in a liberated Masjid al-Aqsa. Allahumma ameen. Thank you all for coming out. Stay for the march. Thank you for raising your voices. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.